my channel so your girl is rocking another wig i am loving these wigs this month i really am loving them so the unit i am rocking today is from a company called my first wig some of you guys may have heard about them they are a sister company of rpg show so they sent me this unit it's called the alexis wig i'll put all of the information in the description box and what they said was that this unit is beginner friendly and i thought Okay, I want to put this to the test. For me, you know, if you don't have to pluck the hairline some more, tint the lace, bleach the knots, then, you know, maybe, just maybe, you do meet beginner status. So I'm gonna put this wig to the test and see just how easy it is to install. And I'm gonna show you guys how I go from this to this. Before I jump into the installation, this is how the hair arrived. It was sent in this box and came with a plastic wig headstand, two brown wig caps, a cute pouch which contained a tail comb, some bobby pins, an elastic band, and some hair clips and reading materials. And of course the hair itself which was put in this pink zipped bag. In terms of the hair specs, it's a 16 inch silky textured blueless lace cap wig with a medium brown lace color. So first things first, I put my wig cap on because we have to keep that hair protected and then I put the unit on. Then I reached for some scissors and used a clip to push the hair out of the way and then I started to cut the lace just in front of the hairline. Now I'm not doing a perfect job at this point because your girl wears glasses so after doing the first trim I take the units off and finish the job when I know that I can see what I'm doing. Okay guys, so this is the unit on. I'm not even mad. I feel like it looks so good. There's a little bit of lift off over here at the front, but that's what this elastic band is for. So I plan on using this, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like now that I've trimmed the lace and tried to kind of make it follow my hairline. This, this is beautiful. What I love is that the hairline is really it's just not that dense, it's really light, so it's not got that really heavy bulky front and it makes it more realistic. I think it will be perfect once I've been able to <clears throat> put the elastic band on and just have it kind of, you know, like a dress, just suck it, suck everything in. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully that will make this wig pretty much perfect. I definitely think this wig is beginners friendly because so far it has been so ridiculously easy. There's no need for any god to be glued. There's no need for any tinting the lace or bleaching knots, none of that. So yes, yeah, so let me get to sewing this down. So to sew the band down, I measure the distance from my left ear to my right ear, going around the back of my head, and then I take it in some more just to make sure it is extra snug, and then I sew it down, and this is what it looks like. Now because my came rows underneath my wig cap are a little bulky, I've noticed this is making the wig look top heavy. So I'm just going in with my straighteners to flatten and straighten the hair at the root as much as possible. And then I also use one of my curling wands to give it a final bit of pressing down. And last but not least, I also use some holding spray, which helps to tame the flyaways. So guys, that is it with the wig. I am really, really impressed. I mean, so amazing how you can change your hair in just a couple of minutes. So I haven't used any concealer. The only thing I've used is the elastic band. And these are the final results. Ross is so dangerous. Need a laugh guru to explain to us. And send me brave, but then I don't discuss. This be love, it will be last cost. Anytime we I see. Thanks so much for watching. When I'm holding a hand, or when we're doing something. Yeah.